talk about uh, the weights, the group sets, and stuff like that. Someone asked me about my hair. I had some uh, getting some moles cut out, so it's involving a little bit of shaving. So I've got a bit of a, a coverage there to take care of that in case anyone was asking for the curious. But uh, yeah. okay, so we have the Shram. This is the weights of Shram Axis. Now I'm a huge Shram fan. And big, my favorite group set would be Shram Mechanical. Just works so well, so light, so good, so cheap on Facebook Marketplace. SRAM ETAP I do have, and it's, it's nice. It shifts, it's really easy to put on my bike, I'll give it that. Uh, shifts very smoothly. It's not super fast, I like, the, I like the SRAM red, super fast shifting. But this is what the price is here, we're talking US dollars, three and a half grand, and it's a two and a half thousand grams. Two and a half thousand grams for, with, without power meter, in ETAP disc. All right, so let's go over to, the rim, it's not much difference. It's, it's 2250, so it's still quite quite chunky. And you can, if you compare that to, uh, you know, 105, you know, and that's not even including the rotors and stuff like that. So you got you know, Dura Ace is 2,000 grams. So lot, you know, so basically, uh, we got 105, 105, which you can get for maybe 200 bucks. You get a 200 dollar group, group set of 105, lightly used, 5800, and it's the same weight. Less weight actually than the SRAM Red Axis. All right, so it's pretty amazing that uh, bikes are getting heavier as we get progress on the time. So that's SRAM Axis, ETAP. We've got also over here, we've got a. Uh, so, what's the best group set for the money? In my opinion, it's SRAM Red. Look at that. 778 grams approximately. Obviously, going to vary what cranks you've got. If you've got GXP versus BB30, what size cassette, what size chain rings, how long your chain is, things like that. But you just can't go past SRAM Red for, if you're looking for the lightest lightweight stuff, SRAM Red's to go. And I'll show you one thing as well with the bike industry is loving right now, the disc brakes, man. That bike industry is loving disc brakes. It's more profit uh, and business driven by profit. I get that. Everyone's in it to make a ki making money. <laughs> I was about to say make a killing. So this is, a, this is $90, $90 for a little tin rotor, 90 bucks. And compare that to a whole rim a Kinlin XR19, which is a pretty decent rim, alloy, recyclable, thirty-four dollars plus shipping. You know, so it's it's insane how cheap rims are. And even let's go to people. Oh, oh, carbon though. Okay, let's go to carbon. Let's go to uh, carbon speed cycle, which I've never used. I can't vouch for their quality, but just a quick search on eBay come up with this: one hundred and thirty-three dollars Aussies, ninety bucks US plus shipping. You know what I mean? So disc brakes ain't saving your rims. You know, money wise and resource wise. So, I mean, you can get 20, 30, 40,000 Ks out of a carbon rim easily. But with rotors, you throw them in, in, in the recycling bin every. I hope, I hope you're recycling your rotors. You know, so, again, it depends where you live. If you're in the wet, gravel, discs. But if you're a dry road rider like myself, then rim's going to be cheaper and lighter. So, there you go. I just wanted to show you there the, you know, the, the latest isn't the greatest. And you've got options these days. So it depends what sort of bike you're doing. If you are going to build up a disc brake bike, then I recommend uh, if you want ultimate user serviceability, do everything yourself with minimal fuss. I'd recommend cable discs for gravel and mountain bike. But for road, I'd recommend SRAM, RED, Mechanical. Can't go past it. And on Facebook Marketplace, so cheap. Let me let me actually go to Facebook Marketplace now and see if we can find ourselves a good secondhand group set, SRAM Red. Let's have a look. Okay, so in the marketplace here, we have a used SRAM Red. And what we've got here, we've got it's a mini group set. What does mini mean? Mini means there's... Uh, what does mini mean? Mini, no brakes, maybe. 450 US, give them 250 bucks. No one's going to buy this. No one's going to buy it. It looks like in pretty good condition. Just check the cranks for cracks. No one's going to buy this. This is old. This is like 11 years old. Give them 200 bucks. You know, 200 bucks. This, this stuff's so lightweight. So 200 bucks, you know, give them, maybe if, if you're feeling generous, 250. And this stuff's, this stuff's not worth anything, even though it's really, really good. It's just not worth anything. It's too old. It's 2019. And this is how it goes, you know. Um, you got Durace Group set for 630 bucks. Uh, what else we've got here? So you can get bar, and this is US dollars. I try and do everything US dollars so people can understand what's going on. This person's selling a 105 for 500 bucks. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. <laughs> so 
So is, is it the whole bike or what? What's this dude doing? The Ares wheel set. Nine months years. This dude's dreaming. Yeah, those brakes are shit. This dude's dreaming 500 bucks. <laughs> 500 bucks and you can get yourself a 2011 Fuji. Looks in good condition. Hasn't been slammed, you know, for 600 bucks. But 500 bucks for 105 group sets. Second hand, this dude's dreaming. This dude's dreaming. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so that's the deal there. The deals are around. Didn't take me long to find that deal. And uh, that's the deals with your own right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Let your vote count. What do you like to see? See you in the road.